What's going on everyone, my name is Under the Radar, and welcome back to the Draft League Viabilities. In this video, we're gonna be covering Surfetched. And uh, real quick before we hop into it, I wanted to say, if you guys are not in my Discord, the way that I'm doing these videos is I am asking people in my Discord server which Pokemon they want to see. And if the Pokemon that they want to see is a cool Pokemon that I'm into, that I'm down to do, then I will do it. And uh, I will kind of sort of rotate between like who I uh, who I actually get uh, to pick the Pokemon from. So uh, one of the people, the first one I saw pretty much was Surfetch this time. Uh, the link will be to my Discord be down in the description below, by the way, if you guys are interested in joining it uh, to give me some uh, help on which mods to choose. So Surfetch is a really interesting mon because this thing doesn't really have checks. Its main check is offense, and because of base 65 speed, it's super easy to check it offensively. One of the big things uh, that Surfetch does is it breaks down fat psychics and it breaks down uh, fat fairies. So immediately the biggest thing that comes to my mind is a really good setup dragon. If you can get a really good setup dragon with this, then you're set. A um, couple things about Surfetch real quick that I wanted to point out. The reason why it doesn't really have good switch-ins, even ghost types, because of the scrappy ability. It can hit any Pokemon, no matter what, unless they click protect or substitute. So if you run a very offensive team that has a lot of pivoting and a lot of uh, flip turn, U-turn, Volt Switch, things like that, and Baton Pass, and you're able to get this thing in pretty freely, you're going to get, you're going to nab a kill every single time. One of my favorite sets with this is to run the leak with it. Um, a lot of people like Choice Band, a lot of people like Choice Scarf as a revenge killer, a lot of people like um, things like that. I don't like it. Whenever I use this Pokemon, I use it purely as a wall breaker. I use it to be able to weaken down my opponent's wall so that my sweeper can come in and uh, clean up very easily. Now, this thing has phenomenal coverage. It gets access to poison jab. It gets access to close combat. It gets access to first impression, which is pretty cool. If you need a way of being able to uh, out priority something like say a Lottie, uh, things of that nature. Very, very good Pokemon. The biggest downfall to this thing is it does not get U-turn which if it got u-turn it would be absolutely phenomenal and it would be one of my favorite pokemon of all time and i would draft it every single time because it just forces so many switch-ins um but ultimately it does get really good coverage it gets access to knock off it gets access to leaf blade it gets access to um it gets access to a bunch of really good moves i think those are the only ones that are like really worth noting in my opinion it gets access to final gambit but whatever but the big thing that you want to keep in mind is with this leak you're going to have a very high chance of critting, especially with moves like Leaf Blade, especially things like Night Slash. Does it get Night Slash? It does. So you're going to have a very high chance of critting every single turn with this Pokemon, and that limits the switch-ins even more so than if you were Choice Banded. So if you're if you're using this and your opponent only has a switch-in of a Sylveon, and you go for a close combat and you get a crit, well, the next turn, the Poison Jab's going to kill, especially if you get a crit after they take out rocks, things like that. So it has a lot of really good options for that. But the biggest thing that I would suggest is a really good Dragon type with setup to go with it, since you're going to be breaking down the bulky Psychics as well as the bulky, uh, bulky Fairies. So... I already have one in mind that I kind of want to do for this, um, and that one is Dragonite uh, specifically, but I'll keep looking because there's there's a handful of them. I mean, Dracovish would be kind of cool because it does also break down pretty much fat everything, and this thing has a fat killer as well. You don't really have a good switch in, but I like, I like Dragon Dance mons that can just go to town. Haxorus is a really good one because of mold breaker um yeah so i would say either haxorus hydreigon or uh dragonite or salamence those are the big ones that i would consider i wouldn't consider dragapult with it because as busted as dragapult is in the draft league format right now this thing just goes on any team so uh, i think it should be banned in most leagues but if you want something that can set up and win most weeks i think that you're going to want dragonite so big reason for uh me saying dragonite over other uh dragons like uh, salamence or anything like that salamence is also another really good one but dragonite i really like just because of the multi-scale ability if it so if you are running a very offensively pivoting team like let's say you put uh a fat u-turner 
if you put a fat teleport mon like p2 if you put uh, a couple more u-turners on there and you're able to get either one of these pokemon in with heavy duty boots you're guaranteed to be able to get up a dragon dance uh no i was thinking uh swords dance for haxorus uh, you're able to get up a dragon dance and then you're able to just go to town and if they don't break your multi scale on this first one or if they don't have a way of doing it and you get the dragon dance off for free like you get a plus two and then nothing is going to live ahead this thing also did get dual wing beat now so having the ability to just break through everything with dual wing beat plus earthquake uh hits very 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 good coverage whenever you consider that it doesn't have to worry about fat fairies or fat psychics living hit because you have your surf etched in the back this is a very good combination but to go with this i think you're going to need a lot of pivoting mons and i think you're going to need good hazards um specifically you're going to want spikes uh primarily because while stealth rocks are really good if you want to run Dragonite, you want the extra chip off on steals, in my opinion. And if you're running Surfetched, if they bring the steel, they're never going to bring it in on Surfetched. So you're really going to need that extra chip damage. So a really good spiker is something that I think you need with this. Um, Scolipede's really good, but it doesn't really get a lot of pivoting to be able to help you out. Um, Excelgor would be really cool. A nice fast spiker. Actually... Sand Slash. So if you don't know, Sand Slash got a lot of really good, <laughs> really good buffs this gen. And uh, I actually wanted to draft this in low tier because it was super, super good. And it, it actually did get spikes. It has Rapid Spin. It has Stealth Rocks. It has Scorching Sands. So it is very, very good at getting up a lot of hazards and also keeping hazards off your side of the field, especially because ghosts can't reliably come in on a knockoff. So the spikes that you get from sand slash plus this offense is really really nice especially now this is a really good not low tier as in like tier three and below but like if you want to draft a celesteela if you want to draft an urshifu uh rapid strike because single strike should be banned in every league ever uh you're gonna have the ability to get this round two you're not going to have to worry about taking dragonite round one because i believe in some leagues it didn't even get drafted that i've been in recently so uh very 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 good uh middling core right here now defensively to go around this um you're going to need a really good steal because so what they're primarily going to switch in on this if like once you kill something they're going to bring in a fat psychic and try to take advantage of you or just fire off a really hard psychic type attack so you want a really good steel to resist that and you want to make sure your steel actually resists it not like a cobalion where it's neutral or they're going to have a fairy for it and ice is also really good against dragonite plus sand slash having a really good steel type to be able to take advantage of that is crucial so defensively uh steel type we're not going to go with um we're not going to go with Steelix this time because it's neutral to ice. I want a Steel type that actually resists ice, preferably. Um, Jirachi would be pretty good. Scizor would be pretty good. Um, actually, yeah, Jirachi. I think Jirachi would be really good. So if you're taking, if you're like looking at this as like what order you can take it in, you can take Jirachi really early on. This gives you a steel type with stealth rocks. It gives you a steel type with U-turn. It gives you wish support, which you don't really have wish support uh, that is immediate with this that I could see. Um, and by that, I can see, I mean like other mons that you could draft, like that would immediately benefit from wish. Like you don't want to take a, uh, a licky licky with this, in my opinion, just because it's just going to be a little too set up fodder. And these don't really deal with things that set up all that well, because like you don't have haze, you don't have dragon tail, things like that. And licky licky, if it's like a fat fairy, you're kind of sort of screwed. So um, Drachi has a way of revenging those fat fairies that set up. So I really like this. I really like these four together. Uh, I would like another Wisher that could potentially U-turn or flip turn. So Vaporeon is always looking nice here, but Vaporeon looks nice on every team in my opinion. Um, let's see, a really good offensive type. This team, this team struggles to switch into Weavile right now. So let's take a look at fairies. Prima Arena is actually really cool here.
Supreme Marine is really cool here because you get access to Flip Turn, you get access to a really strong fairy type, you get access to a fat fairy, you get access to a fat water as well as a really offensive water. You also get uh, really good utility moves like Encore. We're going to keep Pre-Marina in the back pocket here. We're going to keep Pre-Marina in the back pocket because I think this is a really good, a really good take, especially if if like the only way that a Weavile can hit this is with Poison Jab, but that's how they would hit fairies anyway. So let's uh, let's keep looking. But I think that is definitely like a top contender. Um, Alchemy, I don't really like because it doesn't pivot all that much. I'm actually going to go. I'm going to go Pre-Marina. With Liquid Voice, you get really strong Hyper Voices. You get really strong Moon Blasts. You have a really Spadef Fairy. Uh, you have not a good speed tier, but as far as a fat Pokemon goes, it, it is pretty good on the speed tier. Uh, and it also has really good coverage. Like, it's access to Calm Mind, Flip Turn, Energy Ball. Um, Magic is pretty cool. Um, stored Power now. I didn't know it got that. Wow. Really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with this. So these would be a really good five, in my opinion. And then for a sixth Pokemon. Let's see, you've got Dragon Fairy Steel, you've got a water, you don't have a fire, you don't have grass. I think I think these cores are kind of sort of overrated, but I think the next big thing that you're going to want is you're going to want a dark type. And I think you're going to want it with a pivoting move like U-Turn. So that way, so that way, this forces in the fat, whatever, whether it's fairies, whether it's anything, and then you can drop in Jirachi. Jirachi forces it out, forces in the fat steel. You bring in Surfetched, and then you get your kill. So uh, that's kind. Of, that was kind of my thought process behind saying quickly a, a dark type with U-turn. Dark type with U-turn comes in, forces in the fat fairy. The fat fairy gets U-turned on into Jirachi. Jirachi then U-turns into Surfetched. Surfetched breaks. Uh, that's kind of the thought process there. Um, Insane would be super cool. Zarude would also be cool. These Pokemon right here, super cool on this team. Super cool on this team. I'm going to keep these two in the back pocket because I think that these two are really cool. Zoroark is nice and all, but it's just too frail for me. I like whenever my Pokemon can pivot. I like them to be a little bit more on the fatter side, but not like defensive, just like bulky offense type thing. Um, Alolan Persian is another really good one here, in my opinion. As like a utility mon to pivot. Gives you another like decently fizz def mon because of fur coat. So Persian or these two. Yeah, I would say either Persian or these two. And I'm leaning more towards Ensign. Actually, no, I'm leaning more towards Zarude, I think. I don't know. Any of these are good. Uh, I'm going to go Persian, actually, because what Persian does is it gives you the parting shot that I think the team needs. It also gives you access to U-Turn if you're facing a soundproof mon, but ultimately it gives you parting shot into Surfetched, into Jirachi, into pretty much anything, but it also doesn't stack up a weakness that the others already have. Uh, for example... Right now, if you were to have Zarude, you would stack a Poison Weakness with Primarina. If you were to have uh, Incineroar, you would stack a Ground Weakness with Jirachi. You would also be stacking a Water Weakness with Sand Slash. So Persian doesn't really stack anything except for a Fairy Weakness with Dragonite, which Zarude would have also stacked. So I think this right here is a really good, like if you're looking for not a super top tier, uh, bring around this Pokemon. I think this is really cool and like a nice little drafting order you could do with this is you could do something like this if you wanted to and you could probably put something in between Dragonite and then probably get Primarina here and then Surfetched and then Sand Slash here. So that's kind of how I would build around uh, making Surfetched my main breaker of the team. Whenever I had it in WBE, I don't believe I built around it super well to make it a phenomenal breaker. Uh, but I think this is what I would do next time in order to make sure that I had the pivoting that I wanted combined with the uh, the offensive power as well as the defensive backbone with it. So that is where I'm going to leave off this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, but also make sure you guys join my Discord so you can help me pick out some new stuff. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video. But with that, I'm going to get again. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. <laughs> I'm going to get 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 get. <laughs> God, I hate me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.